Hello and welcome to Sudoku now. Let's have a look at this Fortress Sudoku by South Korean author Seon Hwai Hong. Sorry for the pronunciation. It was worth 121 points and that's the highest total I've ever seen in a Grand Prix. And uh, I did not attempt the puzzle during the contest. I thought it was too risky. And instead, uh, I just broke the other puzzles I attempted, so, as usual. And I solved it afterwards, and it was definitely quite tricky, but also um, really remarkably well constructed. So, I did not attempt it again since I did it, so I tried to, to make a decent life solve. What I do know is that this 7 was originally not in the puzzle, which could make it very, very much more difficult, I think. So, first thing, by Sudoku, we get a 6 in here. And oh, first I should recall the rules. Whenever you have a shaded cell next to an unshaded cell, the shaded cell is the bigger digit. So, for example, with this 7, this has to be an 8 or a 9. Then with this 6, the neighbors have to be 7, 8 or 9. And the same happens here. And the same happens here again. <coughs> so that's the easy part in the puzzle. Then we know that 6 is somewhere in here, but that's not saying much. And of course, uh, this uh, shaded cell is next to no unshaded cell, so we we don't know anything about it, so it could very well be a 1. So where is the next place to look? What I do remember about solving it is that there's a lot to do with big digits, intermediate big digits, and small digits and of course this will always be bigger than one but it will be bigger than this as well so this will be bigger than three because this is at least three and this is at least four but that's not saying much I see that there's a two somewhere in here and there's a two somewhere in here but two wouldn't work in, in this position because it because it would need a one in here and there so there's a two in one of two places. Right. Because of this six, those digits are not bigger than five. And where should we look? Well, we should we could focus on the place of one on this row. And none of those shaded cells can have a 1, because there's no smaller digit than 1 in Sudoku. So that's a 1-2 there. And we could just wonder where the third digit from 789 is. But we know well, next to nothing about this. But then with those ones, we know there's a one somewhere in here. And that's not saying much. This 8 could be interesting. We know that 8 is not in here, so 8 is somewhere in there. But that's not a valid place for 8, because then all neighbors would have to be 9. 8 here would work, with a 9 here and a 9 there. So this is not to be ruled out. 8 wouldn't work here, but 8 would work here with a 9 next to it and a 7 here and a 7 there. That would work. So this is not a very strong constraint. <clears throat> so where could we look? 6 is in none of those cells. 6 could be here, with, say, um, 7 here and 9 there, for example. That would work. So that doesn't seem to be the place to look. 
This could be a very long video. Mm, two is not in here. And two is not in here because we would need a one here. So two is in one of those two positions. And we throws this one out and places a two in this cell. That's not huge progress, but that's a digit. So we could ask where eight goes in this box. Eight here wouldn't work. There again, we would need a nine on both sides. Eight could be here, eight could be here. That's a solid candidate for a shaded cell. I should probably focus on such a, a box where lots of cells are shaded. Or perhaps that's more interesting. Let's have a look at those three digits, which are big digits, and they are in none of those cells, and they all must appear in this box. And that's interesting. What if, one, what if one of them is a 9? 9 in this box will have to appear in a shaded cell. So if 9 is in here, then 9 must be here. That's the only place. And that works pretty well. Except, let's imagine that 7 is not in here. Where do we place 8 and 9 in this box? Well, in none of those, so 9 can only be here, but then there's absolutely no place for 8. 8 would have to be in a white cell next to a bigger digit, and that's not possible. So there's definitely a 7 among them. And then, <clears throat> so let's just imagine this is seven and nine. I, I don't remember doing this kind of this kind of reasoning. Oh, sorry, I've noticed something. Three must be somewhere in one of those shaded cells. And this would seem to work because this digit is smaller, but this digit can't be smaller. So three has to be somewhere in here. But if three is here, then its neighbors must be two and one, which is not possible. Three here works if we have a two and a one. And three here, we need a one or a two here, which doesn't work. So three is actually here, and the other neighbor has to be a one. That's something valid. Now, where does four go on this row? Four here, we need a smaller neighbor, but that's not available. And small four here can't have a smaller neighbor. So on this row, four must be here. And this must be smaller than 4, so it has to be a 3. This, I suddenly remember. But now we need a 5 somewhere. If 5 is here, then both neighbors must be smaller than 5, but only 4 is available. So that doesn't work. 5 has to be here, and its neighbor is a 4. That's absolutely beautiful. So now this is 7, 8, or 9, but there again, seven doesn't work because we only have six as a smaller neighbor. So seven is not here. And anyway, I had pencil mark seven as one of those two places. So those must be smaller than this digit. So they must be from six, seven, and eight. This is not six, so it has to be seven, eight, or nine. And this digit is one of those two. So that's some kind of a break in, definitely. Then we have a lot of digits, and this six here 
And this row must be somewhere in here. Right. Um, what else can I see? This four here is not in here. It can't be. Oh yes, this digit must be bigger than that. So it has to be seven, eight, or nine. And we have, and it can't be a seven. So we have our seven, eight, nine, triple. And there's an eight, nine pair here. So this is a seven, and this is not. And then this four can't be here, so four is here, and there we have a three five pair. So the remaining digits in here are six, seven, eight, and nine, but this can't be a nine, and it can't be eight because we would need nine on both sides. So that's a six or seven. This can't be eight, it can only be seven or nine, and this is seven, eight, or nine. And five must appear in one of those two places. So that's some real progress for the middle part of the grid, at least. Now, where should we look? This four looks interesting. Could be here, could be there. Four with a two here, or with a three. That would work. This gun still needs one, three, four, and five. But one wouldn't work here, but three, four, and five would all work with the two here. So that's not a big constraint. Oh, but this seven and this seven, they place a seven here, which works with the six. And then. So this can't be too big, well, it can be as big as 5, which is not saying much there again. So there's still the question of where 8 goes into this box. It's not in here, it's not in here. It could be here. It can't be here because of this 7. It can't be here because we won't have a 9 on both sides. So, where, <laughs> where are the possible places? So, 8 could be here and there. I think that's all. Is that correct? So, nowhere here, nowhere. Oh, it could still be here. With a 9 in this cell, with a 7 here. 8, 9, 7. That would definitely work. So that's really not useful, very, not very useful, I should say. So where does this digit go? So this digit, which is a big digit, is not in here. It could still be there. It could still be 8 here with a 9 there. This can only be for 8 or 9, which is not that useful either. Well, oh, 8 and 9. They are not in here, they are not next to the 7, so they form a pair in these places. So now we have 1, 3, 4, and 5, and actually this digit is not in here, so it must be this digit. And this is smaller than 3, 4, or 5, so it's 2, 3, or 4. There has to be a 1 in two places. And this can only be 3, 5, 8, or 9, which is not very useful. Okay. Oh, this has to be a big digit. I've been missing this because it's bigger than that, so it's 7, 8, or 9. And there we get a quadruple. So this row on this column, six, seven, eight, and nine have been located. 
And we see that 8 can't be here because we would need 9 on both sides. 7 would work with 8 and 9 on both sides and 6 here. 7, 9 and 8, that would totally work. But we know that the remaining 5 digits have to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is 1, 3, or 4. 1, 2, 3. We have a 5 somewhere here. Those are from 2, 3, 4, and 5. This can't be 8 because of this will be 8. And that's interesting because we know there's an 8 somewhere here. Well, that's not so interesting, actually. Eight here places a nine there. Eight here places a nine there. Really not that interesting. So five here does work. If five is here, then this must be on the bigger scale. Like six, eight, or nine. Hmm. This puzzle is really not easy. Really, you can get lost. Like uh, I'm getting lost in this puzzle. So what about this? <clears throat> it can't be a 2. It can't be a 3 because then this would have to be a 2 or a 1, which doesn't work. It can't be f 4, 5, 6. So this is 7, 8, or 9. There again, we have big digits. And those three digits must be somewhere in here. This be the question is can it be a seven it can't be eight it can't be nine can it be a seven if this is seven then this is eight or nine which works this is also eight or nine actually this is nine so this is eight This is 8. Oh, but no, because this would have to be a bigger digit as well. So 7 here doesn't work. So this must be a small digit. It has to be a 2 or a 3. That's correct. And this could be as low as a 4. So where is the last digit from this. Because we know there's a 6 in here, and the last digit is a big digit, and it couldn't be here. The last digit from 789 can't be here, because then this would have to be bigger, and no bigger digit is available. So the big digit is the other, other digit in here, which means that those are from Two, three, four, and five, so only four goes here. And the remaining digit, if we exclude the five, is the counterpart of this. So those are from two, three, and five. And now we don't have any additional constraint. For well, those digits, they are from, well, this one is from 6, 8, 9. This is from 6, 7, and 9, not 8. This 4 can't be here. And that's the last big digit, 7, 8, or 9. That's 
a true struggle. So that works, that works, that works. This is all working. Right. So now, what can this be? It can be one or four, so it's two, three, or five. And the second eight or nine could be here. Could be a nine here. So nine, seven, six, eight, nine, seven. That works. I don't remember uh, starting that much when I did it after the contest, but then my memory is not the best in the world. Three and four here should be interested, but nothing in here is helping us. Well, because of this 6 or 7, this has to be big. This has to be 7, 8 or 9. And then we have a 7, 8, 9 triple on this row. And actually, because of that, this cell can only contain a 3. It can be 7, 8 or 9, and all other digits than 3 are impossible for this cell. So you can at least a 3, and that's a 2. Because of the, this 3 5 pair, now we have a 1 2 4 triple in here, and this is 7 8 or 9, which completes the triple on this row. And the remaining four cells are from 1 2 3 4, and this is not 3 or 4, and because it's bigger than this, it, it has to be a 2 and a 1. That is spectacular. We get a 4, a 1, and a 2, and a 3 here, which is not here, and not here. This one goes there, that's 4 or 5. And because of the 7, 8, 9 triple in this row, we still need 4, 5, and 6, so this is 5 or 6, and 4, 5, or 6 in here. Now, 8 can't be in this position, because if I put an 8, then that's a 9, and we don't have enough candidates for those two cells. So 8 is not in here. 3 has to be in this area. And I'm probably missing eliminations somewhere else in the grid. But I wish to pursue the investigation in here. Oh, one in this column can only be here. Remove this option and put one here. And this column still need five, six, seven, nine. So this is five, six, or nine. And this is five or nine. And on this column, seven can only be here. That's a six. That's an eight. That's nine. It resolves a few eight, nine pairs. That's a seven, that's a six. That's a seven. And then eight, nine pair here, so that's a seven. And only this place can have a seven in this box. So eight is pushed into this box, this cell, I should say. So that's not 8 and that's not 7. 6, 9 pair in here. That must be an 8. We're getting there. So this can only be a 9. 8 can't be here, so that's a 5 and that's 8. This can't be 2 anymore. That's a 2. On this row, 7 can only be here. Oh, and I've been missing this. This one is ambiguous, the 2 1 pair. And then this column still needs 3, 4, and 9. 
so it can be can only oh actually nine can only be in the gray cell so that's three or four that's three four or five I still need the nine somewhere in here so that's not nine we know that this is still not resolved that's that's a bit on the hard side, definitely. Nine is not in here, so nine on this row is here, and this is three or five. This is also three or five, and now on this row we get a three five pair, so this is six, and this is not three. This six places a five here, four there, five here, not four, not five, sorry, that's a six. That's three, that's five, that's four, five, and a three. Five and three here, a five here. This six, this ambiguous and eight six pair, this line places a four in here. Four results the top, that's a nine, and finally, that's a three, and that's a two. And I did it. That was quite the journey. Um, I think the 121 points is well deserved for this puzzle. And it's actually feasible, and that's uh, a point to mention. This is quite the risk to take when you attempt such a puzzle in, in the time that is allotted that is reserved for the Grand Prix. I did not take the chance. Maybe I should have. I wouldn't say. Anyway, I must congratulate Xianghua Hong for creating this, this beast of a Grand Prix puzzle. And thanks for watching this video. See you soon on Pseudo Canal.